All right, so James is gonna to continue to talk about the trials of being rich. He says this in verse 11, for the sun rises with scorching heat and withers the plant, its blossom falls and its beauty is destroyed. In the same way, he's giving a little comparison, the rich will fade away even while they go about their business. He's talking about the fleeting nature of wealth and how in a sudden moment, things can be taken away from us. Now, here's what James is getting at. He's asking this question. So where is your trust? Is it in your worldly wealth as a rich person? Which by the way, if you are rich, like I am rich, it's easy to place our security, our trust, our faith in our stuff, in the things that God has blessed us with, or are we placing our trust in God himself, the giver of those things. Now, I, I know that probably you're waking up today or you're watching this and you're thinking, okay, so Adam, what's the application? The application is simply this. Am I trusting more in God or more in my stuff? And if you're trusting more in your stuff, then your stuff probably owns you and you're not owning, you're not honoring the owner. So how do you do that? Well, you gotta prioritize. You gotta make some decisions. You gotta start living for the owner and not for the stuff. Now, here's what I want you to do. I want you to pray about that. In humility, specifically, persistently, and with expectation. And when God speaks to you, then you gotta figure some things out. God bless you. I'll see you tomorrow on The Daily Note.